So I've said before that from time to time, companies send me products in the mail to review. Some of those products I say, eh, I'm not really interested in them and I don't review them. And other products I say, whoa, that's pretty sweet. And then I do review them. So not that long ago, a product showed up at my door by a company called Beetron, B-I-E-T-R-U-N, and it was a dual microphone system. Now I've had other microphone systems sent to me that I just haven't even reviewed, not interested, but this one was a dual microphone system, two microphones on one receiver. Now that is cool. This is Jeff with Jeff Reviews for You. My channel is dedicated to reviewing mostly as seen on TV items. I look at some consumer gadgets, other household items. Once in a while I do a little bit of a DIY just because I like to. If that interests you, I would love it if you would subscribe to my channel and click the bell below. That way you're notified every time I release a video just like this one. One more thing, don't forget to check down the description for my social media, Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. I would love it if you would follow me there too. Now, let's take a closer look at this Beatron dual audio or dual microphone system. Let's unbox this UHF wireless microphone system with dual digital audio. That's awesome. All right, so let's open this up. Oop, I'm taped. Nope, I'm clipped. All right, drum roll, please. Ta-da! All right, so what do we have here? We've got some directions, and I've got the system itself. Um, I have an antenna on this side, an antenna on that side, but this is what I want to get to. The microphones, how cool. All right, well, it's fit snugly in there. So that's nice, it's a nice looking microphone. It's got a good feel to it, I like it. It doesn't feel cheap, and that's what I was really worried about, feeling like an inexpensive piece of equipment. Um, you know what I noticed right off the bat? They're color coded, that is pretty sweet, so I know which mic is mine and which mic is someone else's. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna continue unboxing this, set this up so I can have two microphones on one speaker. I really think that's cool. All right, as we're assembling, the first thing we wanna do is install antenna A and antenna B, and they just go in and twist. There is no like antenna A and antenna B, they're the exact same thing. You just put one into one side, one side on the other. So now I have both of my microphone antennas installed. I will say it does come with some different set of cables. So depending on your situation, I've got RCA cables. I have some regular audio jacks, these larger audio jacks. Um, I have one of these that I can just plug into like a phone or whatnot. Um, so I've got all sorts of different things. Oh, and this is my charging co cable. It does have a micro USB, not charging cable, sorry. It does have a micro USB power supply. Um, so that goes right here. And then it did come with a little tiny power block to hook that in. But first things first, set this up. And I'm actually going to hook this into a small speaker and test it out. But so far, so good. Before we proceed on, we need to install the batteries into our microphone. This is not a recharging microphone. Um, I guess you can get rechargeable batteries, but you just unscrew the bottom and slip them in. And of course, screw the bottom right back on. So now also, I didn't show you this in the unboxing or the install, but it does come with a Bluetooth antenna and it just screws in right in here. I'm gonna get a closer up on that. So that's where it screws in. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna screw it in there and this will be, Another input if you want to connect it to your phone or whatnot, um, but just another option. So let me screw that in, make sure it's in tight. And now what we're going to do is we are going to officially power it on. So to power it on, I have it plugged into a power source and I'm going to push and hold this button here. And you can see there it's powering up. It's kind of cool right here what we can see. So I have my controls for mic A and I have my controls for mic B. I have a volume, so that's really, really neat. I'm excited to try it out. I'm actually gonna first test it out on my Stormbox by Tribit because it does have a, an aux cable in the back. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to hook it in and just test out the microphone feature um, with dueling mics. So let's do that right now. So when wiring this, you wanna make sure you um, put it in the output. You can see it's clearly labeled. It's easy to mix it up just because it does fit. Um, so I have the cable going in here into my output, and then I'm gonna hook it up right here into the storm box. Definitely have something connected. All right, so now what I wanna do is I wanna turn on 
the microphone. Remember, we just installed batteries and it says 582.5. So that must be microphone B because it says 582.5 right there. Let me talk. Ooh, that's neat. Can you hear that? Let's turn the volume up a little. Ladies and gentlemen, that's cool. I'm excited to test out the other microphone with it, but so far, pretty neat. So I just realized that I had my directional microphone facing me instead of the speaker. And so you couldn't hear anything that I was saying. Now I've adjusted it. There are some things I want to point out. So I can adjust, I'm on mic A right now, as you can see these lights lighting up here. And mic A um, can be adjusted right here or as the entire sound system. But this is also cool. There's a button right here in the middle. And if you want to get into like stadium mode, let's turn it. Turn it. Ladies and gentlemen, it creates a really cool echo. Anyway, I'll turn that off. So let's turn the other microphone on. So now you should see some lights light up here. And now I have both microphones running through my speaker system. Very, very cool. So I will say, after listening to the audio from the clip that was previous to this, um, it did not give it due justice, okay? So in person, it sounds a whole lot clearer. So my thought is, the microphone that I have with my camera, picking up the sound off an inexpensive speaker, maybe distorted it a little bit. I wanted you to know that in person, it is a lot clearer. Plus, if you want to add more clarity, you can mess with the treble and the bass, and that helps out as well. Now, that being said, have you ever used a dual microphone system like this? Are you interested in using one? Let me know down in the comment section below. I would love to hear from you. Connecting to the Bluetooth is actually pretty easy. All I did was look at my Bluetooth options and I saw this Beatrum 15, so I clicked it and it says connected for audio. So now what I technically could do is if I wanted to play music from my phone, it comes here through the Beatrum machine and then to my speaker. That's pretty neat as an additional option. Can you see me all the way out here? I'm the one waving my hand, the orange and blue jacket. So right now I'm about 100 feet away from the receiver and I know you can hear me, but I just wanted to show you the range of this. It's pretty impressive. So I can have this plugged into a sound system way far away from me and the range of this microphone is one that it'll pick up. And I like that I could walk around, I can get closer if I'm in an audience, atmosphere or whatever i can walk around and i really like that plus it's not that windy out here but there is a little breeze from time to time and so i'm thinking the sound coming through is actually pretty clear this is my test outside now let's see the dueling microphone in full action all right so the sun is going down and i want to try to get this but we're going to do the dueling mics and this is my son and he wanted to share something. Did you want to share something with us? You can talk into the mic. I know the Pledge of Allegiance. What? You know the Pledge of Allegiance? Well, I know you can sort of see the flag blowing there. Maybe you can't, but it's right in front of the camera. Can you lead us in the Pledge of Allegiance? All right, let's do it. Pledge of Allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Whoa, what do you think of that? He did a great job, not only doing the pledge, but testing out these dueling microphones. High five. Oh, not high five with the microphone. At the beginning of this video, I said I was really, really excited about the dual microphone system. And let me tell you why. Not that long ago, I had an event at my work where I had a microphone in my hand and I had a colleague who had a microphone in their hand and their speaker was tied to their microphone and I had a speaker tied to my microphone. And when I talked, it would come out of this speaker. And when they talk, it came out of that speaker. And I thought, man, I wish we had one system where people can hear me out of your speaker and my speaker. And then all of a sudden this thing showed up in the mail and I was like, what? That is so cool. Now, there are a lot of sweet things on this microphone system. I like all the different levels of inputs, the Bluetooth input. That is really, really neat. Now, there is something I wish it had different. I almost hit myself on the head with that. I wish that this had a rechargeable battery pack where you could just plug it in to recharge instead of having to replace the batteries. 
I've never been a fan of having batteries in things and realistically leaving them there because I worry that it might corrode and then wear down the unit. So that's one thing I wish it had was rechargeable batteries, but all in all, it's a pretty sweet setup that's not too expensive. If it's something that interests you, I will leave a link down in the description. This is Jeff with Jeff Reviews for you. As always, thanks for stopping by and I hope you have a great day. I thought that this was pretty cool. The people over there at Beatron actually included these mic stands, and then, and that's just for lack of a better term. Um, but you keep your the mouthpiece of your mic up and off the ground so it doesn't damage it. And it's just a really nice way to stand them. I think it's a pretty cool addition. I really do appreciate that you stayed around for my entire review of this wireless microphone system, a dual digital decoder. Pretty sweet. Not that long ago, I actually reviewed a product called Mesh Force, and I didn't really know a whole lot about it then, but let me tell you, this is pretty sweet. Do you have drop zones or dead zones in your house where your internet does not get to, and you're like, man, I really wish my internet would spread all over my house. Well, this takes your current internet and puts almost like a blanket over your entire house so you get signal almost everywhere, and it's really, really neat. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna link that video right up here, and I would love it if you would click on this link. And by the magic of the internet, when you click right up here, I'm gonna join you at that review. So go ahead, click it, it's safe, I promise.